Welcome to the video about Parablazer. We have Dante with us who will show us how that all works. So Dante, what did you prepare for us? Right, so we're going to create a Pyro Blazor application um, from scratch uh, and show you how it's done. So what I have here is, is Visual Studio, obviously, uh, and we'll create a Blazor application uh, to showcase how we would do that. I'll say basic um, Blazor pilot, and we'll create that. So we'll make it a Blazor WebAssembly application and let Visual Studio do its magic. Get a great not responding always, and then it boots up. Right, so what are the steps to now make this into a, a Blazor pilot? This is a, a, a classic Blazor application, um, but what uh, step would we take now? The first thing we should do is, is define our um, Pyrel instance, so the app shell that we want to use. Uh, I have this prepared right here. This is just a Pyrel uh, instance I created and published also on NPM that yeah uh, has Blazor, uh, the Blazor plugin already installed. Mm -hmm. so if I publish my, my emulator somewhere else, uh, my own private uh, NPM feed, is that also possible? Yes, so you can add here the NPM uh, registry uh, option and then uh, provide your own uh, registry in here. And by default, this is npmjs.org, uh, the registry, mm -hmm. of course. Awesome. So we'll use the, the default one for now. Um, the next thing to do would be to install some of our uh, NuGet packages. So we'll manage them right here. Go here and look for Pyrel, and we'll see some packages show up. And the, the ones we're really interested in are utils to provide us with some attributes and some useful uh, components and then also Pyro Blazor tools, which will do the magic of converting this Blazor application into a, a pilot. So I guess those should be installed. Right, and the next thing to do is see obviously if they got installed, uh, save this csproj file again to be sure, and then build the project. And then if we look in the terminal, you will see that the, the pilot will get scaffolded. And so this will take some time uh, on the first run. Mm -hmm. OK, great. So now, I mean, the, the pilot laser tools, I think, is, is kicking in, right? So this is, mm -hmm. let's say, a, a helper for development with Visual Studio or in general, of course, of, of pilots with Blazor. Uh, and the uh, Blazor utils, that's a, let's say, a runtime helper uh, where they can be used then, I guess, to, to decorate your component and to, to leverage some of the possibilities of, of Pyrel more conveniently, right? Yes, uh, so uh, we'll take a look at the utils later because uh, we, can, we can use it and in, indeed to have some convenience. Um, for example, yeah, exposing extensions and stuff, um, but most of the, the things we have right now should all also already work because we have out here pages and Pyro Blazor mm -hmm. uses the default Blazor mechanism of defining pages to then also uh, register them. So we'll see that in action once this builds. Um, awesome. Right, so it built it, uh, it built it, it built, of course. Uh, so it was successful. Now, if we want to run this, we should first start up uh, the Pyro uh, development server. So. Uh, we'll open this. Okay, this should start up. And then we will go into a special folder called Pyrol tilde. And then use the same uh, folder name uh, as our Blazor uh, project folder. This is all uh, also in the docs, in the documentation on GitHub. And then at npm start. So you won't have to memorize this. Right. Okay, so this is running. We can just leave that running for now. Uh, we won't have to touch that and then start our Blazor application. And let's hope we already see some stuff. Okay, that uh, uh, server that you started there uh, beforehand, uh, what is what is the purpose of this, this server, right? So it's, uh, it's coming from Pyro directly. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that that Pyrel server that we set up that makes sure that uh, we can communicate with App Shell, that the, the mm -hmm. pilot gets registered, that every every registration happens, and then a Visual Studio will will um, serve up the the Blazor pilot cool. and the DLLs. Mm -hmm. So if we go here to slash counter, we should see that this is already loaded in. So this is coming from Blazor, and this is loaded into the App Shell that. Uh, you can see it's the basic app shell here. Mm -hmm. nice. Right. So um, if we want to see uh, another page, maybe close this. If we want to see, for example, this index here, uh, by default, uh, setting pages on the on the root with the full Pyro framework is not really uh, possible, or it's discouraged. Um, but we can, if we go to imports here first, and we add a reference to our uh, utils package, uh, so that we can use it uh, in our all, all of our components. And then we add this attribute. This will say um, we want to register an extension in an extension slot. So the spiral framework has this notion of an extension slot. Um, and I created one in the app shell called homepage slot. So everything we define in this slot will go uh, on the homepage. So if I save mm -hmm. this, run it again. Then in the background, uh, PowerBlazor tools will register this uh, this index page uh, normally on the home page. And if we load in, this should now be present here. Nice. So that's a way you can bring in and mix and match because uh, this home page is officially coming from the app shell and it's written in TypeScript, but we can bring in these Blazor ex extensions uh, with these attributes, and this happens automatically. Yeah. Nice. So, what if I now want to, let's say, uh, uh, go to the counter page and the debug when I press the button? Is that possible? Yeah. So we made sure that uh, debugging works using the standard uh, Blazor uh, development tools such as Visual Studio. So now, if we add here a breakpoint and we click this button, then you see it automatically triggers it. And you can see, you can inspect the variables. If I then press continue and click it one more time, you should see that current count is now at one. So mm -hmm. the standard to Blazor development tools um, should all work for debugging. OK, anything else to, to add here? Any other rough edges you would say at the moment? Or that's pretty much, much it right now. I think that's it, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks.